Today is day three, your strength two workout. So today we're gonna start with your dynamic warm-up followed by a stretch series and then go through three strength training circuits. You're gonna need either a set of resistance bands or a set of dumbbells and a platform where you can perform dips. So for today's workout, we have Clutch Body Shop athlete and fitness model superstar, Amber Elizabeth Dodge White. Remember, for today's workout and every workout in the 24-7 Fitness Trainer, you can follow along in real time on your phone, tablet, computer, or television. All right, so we're gonna start today's workout with our dynamic warm-up. We're gonna start with jogging in place with each one of these exercises in the dynamic warm-up. You're gonna perform each one of them for 30 seconds apiece. All right, let's go ahead and get into it. So Amber's gonna start with jogging in place. And again, with every single one of these warm-ups, you wanna really be at a level seven of 10 intensity. Not pushing yourself too hard, but by the end of this warm-up, you should definitely be sweating. Your body should be warm. About halfway through. Good. Coming up is jumping jacks. Five, four, three, two, and one. Right into jumping jacks. So Amber's taking a nice wide stance. A lot of times I see people doing jumping jacks or kind of shortcutting the movement. Make sure you're coming all the way up with your arms, all the way out with your legs. Also make sure with this warm up that you're keeping your core tight. We really want to get every muscle in the body fired up. Okay, and then five, four, three, two, one. Switching over to butt kicks. This is an exercise to warm up the hamstrings. Go ahead and give them a twist so they can see what you're doing. So Amber's keeping her knee right underneath her hips and just bringing her heel right up to her butt. Making sure that the arms are moving. Keep your shoulders nice and loose. Good. In five, four, three, two, one, switching over to switch kick with arm circles. Okay, Amber's keeping her core tight. Her legs, her quads are straight. This is great to warm up your quads. Also, she's keeping her arms at a parallel angle to her shoulder, getting the shoulders nice and warmed up. How's your core feel? Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two and one, switching over to walking high knees, your last exercise in the warm-up. And this is great for the hip flexors. You wanna make sure that the hip flexors are really, really warmed up before you perform any sort of workout. We spend so much time sitting down, it's important to get all this stuff moving again, everything nice and loose. Again, she's keeping her core tight through this exercise. She's not leaning forward as she's bringing her knees up. Good. Four, three, Two, one. Okay, so now we're gonna get into our stretch series before we start the workout. So we're gonna start with the seated floor hamstring stretch. And again, each one of these is gonna be performed for 30 seconds as well. Her legs are straight. If you can't get all the way out to your feet, it's okay. Just go as far as you can go comfortably and you can grab onto your calves. It is really important though, that when you are stretching, you take yourself slightly out of your comfort zone. I see people at the gym kind of half-assing stretching and you're doing nothing if you're doing that. The idea is to really warm the muscle up. Okay, so now she's gonna come back and relax and give it about five seconds and she's gonna go right back into the next stretch. Performing stretches twice are, is really an advantage to the body because on the next stretch, you'll see that it's much easier. You can go much farther with the stretch than you could on the first one. So let's go ahead and go right back into it. And again, on the second round, you're gonna be performing the stretch for 30 seconds as well. Good, keep your head down. So your head should be down. You should feel this stretch all the way through the back. Okay, moving on to the next stretch, which is a quad stretch. We 
good. So for this stretch, you want to make sure that your knee is going straight to the ground. Pull back to where you're comfortable. If you have difficulty standing in place and doing this stretch, it's okay to use a wall or whatever's nearby to keep your balance. Four, three, two, one. So you're gonna go right into the stretch one more time. So again, while you're going through these stretch exercises, you really wanna make sure that you're breathing. I like to tell people that it's really important to kind of get your mindset right for what's ahead. This is an opportunity to really focus on kind of what your goal is for the workout and what you're trying to get out of it. Good, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, switch to the other leg. You know, sometimes when I'm at the gym, I see people while they're stretching, checking social media or posting or, or doing things like before they're getting ready to get into a workout. And that's not what you should be doing when you're in the gym. You really need to kind of tune everything from the outside world out and focus solely on what you're there to do. This is really an opportunity to get your head in the game. So use that opportunity wisely. Okay, 30 seconds, let it shake it out. Good, so she's shaking it out and she's gonna go right back up again. Good, make sure you keep your knee down. Good, so I'm really trying to get her knee to be parallel to this knee here because that's really what's going to drive the stretch. You know, if pe you see people doing a quad stretch and they're really not pulling the, the leg back far enough, that's not gonna do a whole lot for you. Good, so five, four, three, two, one. Okay, good, next stretch is gonna be the sumo squat. Let's get into it. Okay, good. So Amber is really putting, placing all of the weight on her heels here. This is to really open up the hips, stretch out the groin. People who do a lot of sitting at a computer or you do a lot of squatting or running, this is an area that sometimes gets drastically overlooked and this can lead to a lot of issues with the low back. So this is a really, really great stretch to do not just before you're working out, but throughout the day. Good, two, one. Come back up, shake it out. And she's gonna go right back down for the next set. How you feel? Good. Okay, good, and again, while she's going through these exercises, she's breathing. Very important to breathe while you're stretching. Again, sometimes I see people, they're holding their breath while they're stretching. You're not doing yourself any favors by doing that. You need to pump oxygen into the body. Okay, three, two, one, back up. Okay, next up, we have a dynamic chest stretch. So with this exercise, Amber's gonna be going through a movement, just warming the chest up. You don't wanna be tearing through this exercise. You don't wanna be like feverishly swinging your arms because again, we're just warming up, but we don't wanna tear anything. We don't wanna injure anything. Her arms are staying nice and loose. Five, four, three, two, one. Good, so she's gonna just kind of shake out and move on to the next set of this. So each one of these exercises is, is designed to basically get your body ready for the cardio workout that you're about to do. Again, it's so important to go through dynamic warm-ups and stretching before you go into something that's high intensity, which all the Clutch Body Shop workouts are. So this is a great way to get the body prepared. Three, two, one, good. Shoulder across the chest. So Amber's gonna go ahead and lift up. She's applying pressure to the elbow with this hand and bringing the arm across the body. With this stretch, I'm really trying to get into the delt and the rear delt to stretch that out. Um, the other thing about this stretch that's important to note is if you feel a contraction or pain in your chest, that means that you really need to work on your chest flexibility. Sometimes when you bring the arm across the body, the chest has a tendency to contract if you're not working on your flexibility in that area enough. Okay, three, two, one. She's gonna let this arm down and bring it across again. Good. 
So if you guys are doing this at home, again, make sure that you're breathing through the stretches, make sure that you're staying nice and loose. Don't contract the whole body, don't hold your breath. So often I see people going through these stretch exercises at the gym and they're literally red in the face as they're stretching. That's not the point of this. The point is to start pumping oxygen into your body and to prepare for the workout ahead. Okay, switch, good. Okay, so she's gonna go ahead and start on the other side now. Good, and again, stretching also, unknown to most people, it also can help promote fat loss in the body because what studies have shown is that stretching, because it's a relaxation technique, it can help promote lowering of cortisol levels, which again can promote better muscle definition, fat loss. It's not just something that is designed to stretch muscles out. Okay, two, one, shake it out. Okay, go ahead and bring it back across. I've seen that with people that spend at least a day stretching a week or add this at the beginning or the end of any workout, they're gonna see better results in their body just because of the fact that the cortisol is dropping and because you're lengthening the muscles out throughout the workout, you're gonna get your, your better power output. You have more leverage to make the movements happen because you're basically taking a muscle from here instead of here and then contracting. Okay, go ahead and stop. Okay, let's move on. Next up is a tricep stretch. So Amber's gonna go ahead and she's gonna bring that elbow up, her arm is back, and she's using this hand again to just press lightly on her elbow, bringing the arm down. So you will, you'll feel this in the tricep. A lot of you will also feel this coming down through your lat, which is another area that gets kind of overlooked with stretching, and it's very important to keep this area nice and lengthened out because the lat can actually because it attaches in the low back. If it's not lengthened out, it can really pull on that low back, which you don't want. Good, relax. Just gonna shake it out. Bring it right back up. Good. So for those of you who are doing this at home, this is a stretch that you really wanna make sure that that elbow is against your ear. You don't wanna have your elbow all the way out here trying to perform the stretch. It should be pressed right against your head and pulled down. Okay, good, three, two, one. Amber's gonna go ahead and switch to the other side. seconds left on this side. Good, five, four, three, two, one. Good, shake it out, come back up. About 10 more seconds left. Coming up, we have the iliopsoas stretch. She's going back down on the ground. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, good. So Amber's gonna get into the iliopsoas stretch next. She's gonna be on one knee, and she's gonna put her foot slightly past 90 degrees. She's gonna flex her glutes, and then she's gonna sink into this stretch. Once you have your balance, you wanna bring your arm up and over your body and then come back. So you're leaning back. What this is gonna do is it's gonna help bring a great stretch into this area. Good, okay, relax. Good, she's gonna shake it out. And go right back into it. The iliopsoas is a hip flexor that runs right through the core of your body and attaches in your low back. If it gets too tight, it can cause a lot of back problems, tightness and spasm. So it's a great stretch to do at the beginning and end of any workout. If you're ever at your desk at work and you're feeling like a lot of tightness in your low back, this is your stretch. Good, so she want to, wants to make sure that she's staying back. Good, three, two, one, good. So she's gonna switch to the other side. 
Now, if you find that you're doing this stretch and you're not feeling it right through this area, you really, let's get Amber into the position first. Put your hand up, okay. So if you're in this position and you're not feeling this stretch through here, it's really important that you start leaning back. So I want Amber to bring her body back. So you're leaning back and into the stretch. You'll also feel this through parts of your groin. Good, five, four, three, two, one. Good, and stop. And she's gonna go through this one more time. Also, this is great for the quad as well. Okay, go ahead and get right back into it. And again, keeping the upper body totally straight. She's staying very tall while she's doing this. She's not leaning forward. So if you need to use a mirror while doing this, if you have one available to you, this is a great exercise to use a mirror for to make sure your body is in this perfect position. Five. Four, three, two, one. Okay, good. So next, Amber's gonna move into a low back stretch. So she's just gonna lay on her back. And most of you have done this, have done a stretch like this. Okay, and she's just gonna bring one knee over her body. Good, and she's gonna rotate. Good, so this stretch is gonna go right through the low back, parts of the lat. And sometimes you'll even feel this in parts of your glute. Good, 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Just gonna come back over and then come right back over. Good. And you can use this hand on this side if you want to get a better stretch to really use to press against your hip if you don't have, obviously, a partner helping you stretch. Um, that'll just help accentuate the stretch even further because sometimes using your own body weight, you can't get quite far enough. Got 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, good. So now Amber's gonna switch to the other side. Again, bringing that knee down to the ground and keeping everything very relaxed through the leg. And you can use that hand to press your hip further towards the floor to really get deeper into the stretch. This arm should be totally relaxed. You'll also feel a slight chest stretch with, with this exercise, which is great. Good. So we've got six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Just gonna shake it out and move right back across. Sometimes when I see people do this stretch, I'll see this arm start to lift up off the ground. That is, that's not what you wanna do. You wanna keep that arm nice and relaxed because again, through all these stretches, there's always secondary muscles that are also being stretched. So with this stretch, it's the, it's the chest, which is great, right? Because we use our chest a lot for push-ups for this routine, everything from that to overhead press. So it's very important that we keep that nice and stretched. Okay, three, two, one. Good, and stop. So Amber's gonna go ahead and move into a glute stretch next. She's just gonna sit up. And she's gonna cross one leg across the other, and she's gonna use this arm to pull her knee into her body, keeping this leg nice and straight. Good. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, good. So she's just gonna shake it out for a second and bring it right back up. Good. So again, she's breathing. She's keeping her upper body nice and tall. She's not leaning into the stretch. Perfect. 10 seconds left. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Just gonna shake that side out and she can move on to the next side. So again, pulling the knee across. If you don't feel this stretch enough when you pull the knee across, 
try and twist your leg more this way, that's gonna help really pull more glute into the stretch. Good. Just about 10 seconds left. Good. Five, four, three, two, and one. It's great, so Amber's shaking it out. She's bringing the leg right back across. Again, using that arm to bring her knee across. And you can see she's just shifted her body weight. So now she's kind of opening up that again, that'll help really open up the low back as well. So you can stay in that original position or if you're trying to get more of a low back stretch, you can also twist your body slightly. Good. So we've got five seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. So now we're going to get right into the first circuit of the cardio workout. Stretching is over. Go ahead, you'll, if you're using a mat, just go ahead and get it out of the way and get ready for the first circuit. So now we're going to get into our first strength circuit. It only has three exercises, but for each exercise, you're going to be performing as many reps as you can during the 30 seconds. We're going to be starting with the overhead press. Let's go ahead and get your dumbbells. Okay, so right out of the gate, you want to keep your intensity and your energy really high on these. So Amber's going to get it started and go. Good. So you can see the cadence at which she's lifting the weights. This is the exact speed that you want to be doing this exercise at. If you can't perform it with proper form, which is you should be bringing your elbows down to 90 degrees, your dumbbell should be parallel to the ground, lighten the weight. Good. About 10 seconds left. Nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Moving right into dips. Now you can perform dips on any platform that you can find today. Amber's doing this on a medicine ball, but you can do this on the couch, off your bathtub, any kind of surface that has a platform that you can secure your arms to. Good. Just about halfway there. So Amber's coming down to 90 degrees, keeping her elbows tucked. Good, abs tight, legs straight out in front of her. Good, 10 seconds. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Great, moving right into bicep curls. Now you can do this with dumbbells, a barbell, or resistance bands. So she's keeping her elbows close to her sides, coming all the way up and all the way down. So bring those dumbbells all the way down, good. Not swinging the body, you wanna keep this part of your body completely still. Good. Again, the intensity level is high. She's getting as many reps in as she can in these 30 seconds. Good, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, going right back to the beginning, right into an overhead press. Amber's killing it, keeping the pace the same as she was in round one. It's okay if you can't, especially if you're on weeks one and two. It's going to take your body time to get acclimated, and you should get tired by the ends of these rounds as you near the end of the circuit. Good. 10 seconds left. Keep the intensity up. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right, moving right into the dips. This is our last round, you guys. Make sure you're pushing it. Here we go. Amber's already well into it, keeping the intensity up. Perfect, keep those legs nice and straight. Keep your chin nice and neutral. Good, halfway there. Yep, if you need to readjust while you're doing this exercise, that's fine. Four. Five seconds left, four, three, two, and one. Perfect, time. Great job, moving into our last exercise of this round and this circuit. Make sure you're keeping the intensity up and really pushing it. So you've got a rest coming up after this. Good. Make sure you're not swinging. Your head neutral. Halfway there. Good job, you guys. Keep pushing through. We're almost there, almost at the end. 10 seconds left. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Great job, you guys. All right, so Amber's gonna take a 15 second break because she's a highly conditioned athlete, but if you need more time, go ahead and just pause this video.
First exercise is a lateral raise. Amber's got one foot in front. That foot is supporting the resistance band. And let's begin. Good. Coming up just to shoulder height. Perfect. Keeping the intensity up. Great job. And make sure you guys at home choose a resistance band that is appropriate uh, weight for what you're about to do. Don't try and, <laughs> for the guys, don't overboard it. Good, five seconds left. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, moving right into the next exercise. We're going into an overhead tricep extension. Amber's moved her foot to the back and the band is right underneath that back foot and let's go. So again, we've got 30 seconds of this. She's got her elbows nice and tight to her head, keeping the intensity up. Core is tight and that front foot she's using to stabilize. Good, we're just about halfway there. Good. When you're doing these at home, make sure that you're keeping your core tight. You can also, if you're doing these using a dumbbell, you can perform this exercise sitting down, which will give more support to your lumbar. In five, four, three, two, and one. All right, moving right into our hammer curl. So Amber's moving that band right back out in front of her, and she's grabbing right below the handle. Okay, and let's go. Keeping the elbows nice and tight to the body. Again, the intensity is high. You can see the cadence at which she's getting these reps done. The speed is up. Perfect. Keep pushing it. Remember, you want to do as many reps as you can do in these 30 seconds. Over halfway there. Keep your head up. Good. Make sure you guys, when you're doing all these exercises, your head should be in a completely neutral position. Five, four, head up. Three, two, and one. Time. Okay, great. Here we go. Amber's in position. Let's go with our lateral raise. Perfect. Again, remember on this last round, keep the intensity up, but don't let your um, form suffer because you're trying to go so fast. Make sure you're focusing on both intensity and form. Amber's got it down. Perfect. Halfway there. Don't rock the body. Don't use any momentum to move this weight. Even if on this last round, you can only move the weight up to there, that's totally fine. Five, four, three, two, and one. Perfect. Moving on to our next exercise. Last one of the overhead tricep extension and go. Perfect. Again, don't use any momentum from your body, keeping all of these, keeping both legs locked into place. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Remember, do as many reps as you can do, and remember to keep pushing yourself through this last round. 10 seconds left, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, perfect. Last exercise, guys, move right into it. Here she goes, she's got her resistance bands ready. Let's move right into our hammer curl. Stand up straight, there we go, perfect. Nice and tall, keeping the intensity up. Amber's speed is, she's really got a fast turnover. You guys should be trying to match her speed. Perfect, halfway there. Remember guys, we wanna finish this circuit strong because you've got a rest coming up right after this exercise. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, time. Amber's gonna take 15 seconds rest because she's a highly conditioned athlete. But for everybody at home, if you guys need to take more time, go ahead and pause the video. Let's go ahead and get her into position and start circuit number three. All right, here we go. The very first exercise is a front raise. Let's go, 30 seconds. So you can do this exercise either by alternating arms or bringing both arms up at the exact same time. For her purposes, we're gonna do alternating. Good, again, the intensity is up, her core is tight. Do not swing your body, do not use the momentum of your body to move the weight. We wanna stay very still. If you can't complete the movement without swinging your body, drop the weight down. Good, just about five seconds left, four, three, Two and one. All right, moving right into our next exercise, the Cobra. Amber's gonna go and get her mat, pull it into position. This is a great exercise to use as an alternative to a tricep press down with no equipment necessary. So Amber's got her body firmly on the ground. Her hands are parallel to her body and she's just gonna go ahead and press up, take a slight pause up top, 
Come back up, Psst, pop. Good, it's really squeezing the tricep. The key is to keep your elbows as close to your body as possible. That's gonna put all the pressure right on the tricep. Good, just about halfway there. Good, don't turn this into a push-up, so really pause up top. Take a pause, now back down, good. 10 seconds left. When you're doing these at home, make sure you take that pause. You should really feel this burn in your tricep. All right, in three, two, one, good. Moving on to our next exercise, a narrow bicep curl. You can do this with using dumbbells or with resistance bands. So Amber's just gonna get her elbows tucked to her sides and coming up, perfect. Good, again, you don't wanna be moving your body. You don't wanna be using your momentum to move the weight. If you are doing that, you need to drop the weight down a little bit. Perfect, don't swing the neck, keep everything very still. You want to be able to do these exercises to where nothing else in your body is moving other than the weight. Perfect, just about 10 seconds left. 10, nine, eight, keep breathing. Good, and five, four, three, two, and one. Perfect, all right, that ends the first round. So now we're gonna move into our last round of this circuit right away, front raise. Amber, show us how it's done. Perfect, keep the body straight, keep the head neutral. Go at a speed that you can go where the whole body is completely still. You're just completely isolating that shoulder. Good. You don't wanna be throwing the weights around. Good, 15 seconds left, we're halfway there. Keep pushing, good job, Amber. Perfect, you are almost done with this exercise. Yep, yep, five, four, three, Two, one, drop right back down to the ground into your cobra. Perfect. Hands are tucked. Amber is ready to go. I hope you're ready to go too, all the way up. Don't shortcut it, come all the way up. I wanna see that arm straighten out to the top. That's what's gonna give that tricep, that nice little zing. 10 seconds in, good, you're almost halfway there. Yep, there you go. Now, if you need to take a couple of seconds, perfect. Take a breather and keep going. Like remember guys, it's just as many as you can do within those 30 seconds. Each week you're gonna get better within the 30 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Perfect, like a boss into the last exercise of this round, bicep curl. Here we go. And she's up, perfect. The bicep curl is obviously a lot less taxing on the body than the Cobra. But still, you wanna stay focused, focus on the bicep, really trying to work it. We're trying to get that nice definition, We're trying to get stronger. You're in the last exercise of this entire workout. Keep pushing through. We've got nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. This workout is done. Good job at home, good job, Amber. Let's blow it up.